let's see type it here now here you can see if i type it here entire markers are clear but if i type it here set multiple markers i can put multiple markers here through this video you will be learning how to use single marker and multiple marker and put them on google maps in a very efficient way right so first of all here you can see i have a file called google flutter maps marker dot dart any single file and my emulator right so let's get started by creating a new stateful widget so here i'll say google flutter maps marker demo view something like this right now here instead of a placeholder let me put a scaffold easy now this will be our default uh, view here so here what i'll do uh, before moving forward let's go to powerspace.dml file and under a powerspace.dml file i'll be getting the dependency of google maps flutter and the particular version whatever you are watching right now right so get the following package of google maps flutter and also get a package of provider for the state management right so once you have got both of these packages we are good to go now what i'll do in my scaffold i can have a body right so here let's go under a body and here i'll be having a body to be google map itself all right now here we'll be requiring some parameters let's talk about that in a while but here let's have a custom app bar now if you have seen my previous videos you know what a custom app bar is so here i'll be simply writing google maps marker something like that all right so here once we are done now we should we need to provide here a camera position it is the initial position right so here i can set up a camera position now here i'll be requiring some target and if you hover over it it will be requiring a class of lat and long that is the longitude and latitude so here i'll be providing some lat long and i've got some lat long here so i can provide them that here now once you have done this thing i can also add an option of zoom so let's say a zoom of 12 to be default one right now this will be it now along with that we'll be requiring here a map controller so for that we need to add a function called on map created it will be requiring a controller and it will be providing us a controller right now once this thing is done what i'll do at the top of my build method i'll be creating a new google map controller so here let's say google map controller to be google map controller so instead of final let's make it late so we won't get any issue now once this thing is done i can go to controller and i can say the google map controller is having the value of a controller now once we have declared the following google map controller we also need to provide here a completer right so here i will be creating a new completer so here let's add a new completer right here the completer will be taking a type of google map controller so let's say let's call it completer and this thing will be having a value of a completer itself that's it now once this is done let's import it from data sync i think yeah data sync now when this thing is done i can go back here and i can say uh, completer dot complete the following controller easy right now when this thing is done we are good to go before that let's also try to dispose our controller that is the google map controller so here i'll say google map controller dot dispose easy Now once this thing is done, let's try to render the entire thing over to our simulator. So I'll just go back to our main.dart file and here I'll be putting back the file name which is the, uh, this will long as uh, file name. So let's import it here, easy. So press control edit function and F5 on Mac or on Windows control and F5. Let's wait for it. All right. so. All right, so here you can see our application is up and running. So I added the coordinates of Bangalore. You can add any coordinates as you want. Now, if you are facing an issue or getting the following Google Maps, what you have to do, one easy step that I forget at the start, is you need to go into app delicate.swift file and you need to add the following key here. That is GMS services that provide API key and your API key. Also, before that, you also need to import the Google Maps right so make sure i'll be providing the this files value in the description box so you can take it out and check everything right so once that thing is done and what we can do uh, so i'll be providing the value so i'll be providing the code that i've added here in the description box you can take it out and simply put your api key instead of having this mock api key that i'm using right after that you need to go into info please dot uh, info dot please file and here you need to provide here the following uh, access that is these three files 
right so make sure you'll copy the following piece of code that i'll be putting in the description box and you use that in info.list file and also in app delegate.shift file now once you have done that here you can see we are getting our google maps marker thing that is the entire google maps view right now what we have to do we have to put markers on our google map right so let's do that by creating a new notifier right so here i'll be creating a new class let's say a uh, custom map notifier it will be extending a chain notifier right now i have created a provider uh, tutorial a long time back so if you are having an issue over what is provider and how to use that you can always refer to that video and learn from that if not if you are still issue in learning provider and other state management you can comment down below and i'll be creating tutorial based on that right so now in my custom map notifier what i'll do i'll be creating a new list of marker right now the following marker class will be imported from our package or google maps flutter itself right so here i'll be simply calling it a marker which i will be having an empty value right now once this thing is done i'll be creating a new function let's say future add marker right now let's make it async that is asynchronous now under my add marker function what i'll do i'll be taking a parameter of latitude and longitude for a particular marker right now once this thing is done what i can do i'll be creating a, a new marker id so here i'll be creating a new marker id let's call it marker id is equal to new marker id the value will be nothing but lat long dot to string because it will be always a unique string right so once this thing is done i'll be declaring a new marker of marker is equal to a new marker now once this thing is done our marker class will be requiring the property of marker id that we have created right here right so once this thing is done we can go back here and i can add here a position the position will be nothing but a lat long right so we have created a new instance of marker so let's add that marker under our list of markers so here i can say uh, marker dot add marker and notify all the listeners now this will be our function for adding a new marker under a list of markers right so once this we have implemented it i can copy the name of notifier go back to main dot dart and paste it under my change notifier provider right now let's go back and press f5 uh so after this what i can really do uh here our google map uh, will be providing here an option of on tap it will be uh, giving us a parameter of flat long so we can use it right now here if i simply say uh, debug print lat long dot to string i should be getting a value of the coordinate on which i'll be tapping so let's go to debug console and if i tap it here you can see we are getting a value of lat long some different lat longs whenever we are tap here right so once this thing is done we need to just add markers right so here i'll remove this line and instead is we need to instantiate our notifier first so here i'll say custom map notifier or right, custom map notifier where is it custom map notifier or uh, having a function of required boolean render ui right so once this thing is done i'll say a new provider value uh having the instance of google map controller right and the value of listen to render you are okay ha uh, custom map notifier easy so we have created a new instance of our provider so here what i can do i can see i should be having a list of marker first so here let's say a list of marker is equal to markers should be the custom map notifier because we need to listen the changes so let's say render here to be true and here all the markers right so once that thing is done here on tap i can simply add a new marker with the function that we have created so far all right so here i'll simply say uh, custom map notifier we should not listen to it so let's say listen render you are false and lat long will be the lat long right so once this is done we should be able to uh, add a marker so here for the experiment purpose i'll simply say uh, just show me whatever is happening in the marker uh, list right so here let's go to debug console if i type it here here now you can see i am getting the marker data here if i type it here i am getting different markers data right so this thing is working now we just need to show the markers over to our google maps so here we need to add a property of marker and the marker will be requiring a set of marker because the marker id will be always unique so to render that thing we always need to uh, provide a set of markers so here i'll say set dot from the list of elements and the list of elements will be nothing but a markers 
press control and f5 now here you can see we have got our markers here right so i'll just hot restart everything and let's test it from scratch right so here if i type it here you can see we are getting a marker if i type it here i'll be getting a marker from marker marker and marker right so now let's try to play around it so i'll go to floating action button let's create a new column and let's say main axis alignment of main axis alignment or end and uh, cross axis alignment for end and some children right so here i'll be having an action chip my favorite uh, widget so here let's say clear markers something like that and let's say an on tap function just like this right so here you can see i got my marker uh, that is a uh, action chip here so let's have some background color easy all right let's have some different background color or red one yeah so here on tapping over it we should be able to clear all the markers so let's go at the top and here i'll be creating a new function of clear markers so here let's say uh, marker dot clear and notify all the listeners easy so let's go to the action chip on press function and here i'll say custom map notifier dot clear markers and if i type it here i should be able to clear all the markers easy clear it right so we have created this thing now here what i also want to do is i want to add a single marker and double marker in my list right so let's try to implement that logic as well so here i'll simply create a new boolean of is single marker mode by default let's say it is a false and here i'll say toggle marker mode a new function right and under this function we will do nothing but simply say is single marker mode is not equal to a single marker mode and notify all the listeners easy so this toggle marker mode function will just toggle the following boolean of if the marker mode is single or not all right so here what i'll do uh, in add marker function i'll say if is single marker mode i'll clear all the markers now this should be it uh, let's go here and i'll be creating here uh, a new button of let's say a set uh, single marker something like this you can add any type of function you want and here i'll be having a row and uh, that's it right so let's say elements of row at the end right so here let's say set multiple marker and this should be set single marker right let's have some spacing right so let's change the color so i'll be adding here a color of blue and here let's say a color of green okay not gray but let's say purple right also let's add some styling here all right so now if i type it here i should be able to clear all the markers right but now let's toggle the modes so uh, what i'll do i'll create a common boolean at the top so here uh, let's copy this thing and here i'll simply say a boolean is single marker mode it should be is single marker mode and we are listening to value so the render value uh, of our provider is, is true right so here what i'll do i'll simply toggle the uh, mode of the colors so uh, here let's put a default if if it is single marker mode what i'll do i'll put this color else let's say uh, some uh, gray color yeah and similarly i can copy it and paste it here now this is not an optimal thing to do but for tutorial purpose i'm just adding multiple action chips and all right so if i tap it uh, if i tap it here i should be able to toggle the marker so let's say toggle marker mode and also toggle marker mode so let me just sort start everything and let's see how it goes okay so let me just try to provide a value here that is an mvvm architecture mode so let's say value right so here we need to provide the value is single marker mode value to be true and here is single marker mode value to be false let's see tap it here now here you can see if i tap it here entire markers are clear but if i tap it here set multiple markers i can put multiple markers here and if i press on clear markers everything will be cleared so let's set a single marker and tap everything from everywhere similarly set multiple markers tap everywhere from everything right so this is how you can implement google maps marker with different toggle modes clear all the markers and do much more stuff